am Mark. This is my journey through tarot. So come on with me. We're going to have a blast. Okay, this one's pretty good. Um, Ivana, the first wife. Ivana, the first wife. Let me say it again. Ivana, the first wife. So today it's going to be Ivana Trump. Not the daughter, but the first wife. Ivana Trump. And uh, let's see if she'll have some role to play uh, in this uh, drama in the end. Let's face it. Her kids are going to be in serious, serious peril and um, I believe she she does love those kids so here we go I thought this would be a great uh, deck for Ivana I don't know if you've ever seen her lifestyle but it's every bit the gilded uh, explosion that Donald loves so uh, Ivana Trump what's gonna happen is she gonna be in the mix finally so this is the golden Art Nouveau Tarot and uh, this is a Los Garbio deck, and uh, they're very um, golden. They're very gilded. They're just like uh, her life. Uh, it's a, it's a, a, a typical Rider Waite uh, um, iconography um, interpreted with a lot of gilded cards. The um, instruction booklet is pretty uh, generic, uh, but useful. And uh, the cards themselves are, are very beautiful. I don't know if I've used them before even, but I'll show them to you. I hope they show up well on the camera, because sometimes when there's all of this uh, gilding, all of this reflection, it doesn't work that well. I hope it does, because for me, in person, these are really amazing cards to look at. And hopefully you'll enjoy, or you enjoy looking at them too. Uh, this is just a good way to mix up the cards uh, without, uh, uh, you know, damaging them. And, uh, and the, with the added, bon added bonus of letting you see uh, what these cards look like, uh, when you may not uh, be a person who looks at tarot cards an awful lot. You know, it just occurred to me when I started making these videos that the uh, folks who are looking at the videos only get to see, you know, 10 cards or so out of the, uh, all of the cards that are, look at that, the one right on top is death. Out of all the cards that are displayed. So why not let you see the cards? That's why I like to shuffle them face up, because I like to see the cards, and I would think you would do too. So, Ivana. Now let's concentrate. Ivana, Ivana, Ivana. She's been out of life for this guy for so many years. Ivana Trump. Ivana, the first wife. Ivana, what are you going to do? Ivana Trump, how are you uh, going to uh, play in all of this? Every single one of your kids, the only kids you ever had, fathered by this guy, um... What's it going to be like for you? Because they're all in peril. Every single one of them. They've all played the same game that they've been taught. You know, I saw an interview once with her where she mentioned, uh, talked about raising the children. And uh, she said something to the effect of that, yeah, she raised the children up to uh, adulthood. And then she turned them over to Donald. So, yeah, she, uh, I guess, taught them their manners and, and their hopefully yes ma'ams, no ma'ams. And 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 coordinated their lives until they were adults and then she um, turned them over to him and we see what he did with them he really perfected their uh, evil uh, polish <laughs> so I'm gonna do a big spread here because I think she's a huge personality and um, let's take six cards right off the top for Ivana Ivana the first wife one Two, three, four, five, and six. Ivana, what will be your role in all of this when it's all said and done? We'll find out. The first card, uh, the first card, which will be the signifier for Ivana Trump, the first wife of Donald Trump, is going to be. Okay, so this is the page, the page of wands, the page of wands. Um, this is a very determined looking page. As I always say, the page is the lesser of the court cards. This is the, the 
fellow who's going to bring an idea, an announcement, uh, a motion, a plan uh, to the court for the court's consideration. It's the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. And uh, at this point, she's fallen way back in the hierarchy of this Trump um, uh, monopoly, uh, whatever you want to call them, this co uh, conglomeration of, of evildoers. But do not to say that she won't still have some plans. So the signifier of this is Ivana Trump as the page of wands, someone bringing a plan to the, uh, to the table. The challenge to that, then, is going to be ah the two of cups the two of cups is uh lovers and uh, it doesn't i mean they certainly were they were a pair uh they were married of course and um so the challenge to her plan is the fact that um that they were a pair perhaps i wonder well we'll just leave it at that uh, i won't wonder about anything i'll just read the cards as they come out the basis of this reading for Ivana Trump, the first wife, is going to be the page of coin. The page of coin. Um, you know, this is a fellow who's bringing this value to the table. And he's saying, look, look, look at me square in the face. Look what I've got here. I'm bringing you something. It's a little nugget that perhaps you can do something with. Let me, let me step into the scene and show you uh, what I want to uh, bring in here. So, Ivana, I wonder if they even how their conversations go with their, their mother. Uh, we don't hear anything ever about her and them. In the past, well, let's see, in the past for this reading for Ivana, first wife of Donald, is um, the ace of wands. You know, in the past, so this was the, a huge action, a huge plan, a huge uh, consideration to be taken. And it's even emphasized with these uh, bold uh, lines emanating out from this plan and the strong hand coming out from the clouds. So this, and look, the castle is far off across the water. I think she lives overseas even. I'm not sure. But um, so in the past for Ivana in this situation is uh, the one bringing forward a plan. Okay. Now the sky for this reading for Ivana, not the daughter, but the mom, is the devil. Wow. So, you know, the sky is typically uh, where you want to aim for, the best you could get to, uh, your aspiration. And uh, so the sky in this reading is the devil. And I would say that she's got to put on her very creative hat to try to decide what tricky method could be used to save her kids who are chained to this devil. Huh, that's interesting. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that little interpretation. So that's the sky for this reading. The uh, likely outcome for this first part of this Celtic cross for Ivana, not the daughter, but the mom. Ivana, ah, deciding which way to go, the Two of Swords. You know, the Two of Swords typically represents truth and justice, rules and right. Um, so she has to consider um, uh, in this first part here, what is the right tack to take? Hmm, interesting. Ivana. Ivana. So now we'll uh, lay these out and see if we can come to some more uh, interesting information for Ivana. What is the self? I mean, right now, of Ivana, not in the future, but right now, what's the self of Ivana in this drama? The self of Ivana at this very minute in this drama. I'm going to take a card from right here. And uh, this is still, look at this, it's the Knight of Coin. We had the Page of Coin right here as the basis, and here we have the Knight of Coins. So the self of Ivana, a, Ivana the mom of all those children, first wife of Donald, the self of her is the Knight of Coins. She got a, a very good settlement for her at the time. I think it was something like $14 million. And, uh, and I'm sure she's buoyed that even to, even to a larger fortune now. So the self of Ivana is I have this money, I have this value. And let's face it, she's an old lady now. She's getting towards the end too. So she's gonna be leaving that money to somebody. It could be, this could be the little legacy that saves uh, some of those kids from total ruin eventually. So that's who she is right now. She's the knight of coin bringing in uh, to save the day some this last offer of, of value. The environment that this is in for right now, for Ivana, the mom, the environment that this is in, whew, is the Knight 
of swords. And the knight of swords, this knight is charging in like nobody's business, wielding this sword, determined to get into this picture. And, and uh, I think that this, I think she's watching all of this very closely. And if anybody knows how involved her kids in all of this mischief, it's going to be her. Wow. So the Knight of Swords is the environment that this Knight of Pentacles uh, bringing in this value and, and coming at it quickly. Um, wow, that's who Ivana is right now. The hopes and the fears for Ivana, for her kids, I don't think she can give a crap about Donald, but the hope and the fears for Ivana right now is, huh, now this is interesting. This is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is a fellow who has accumulated all of this emotional treasure. And it's up here, you know, for everybody to see. And he's very uh, satisfied with his worth. And, uh, and staring you square in the face and saying, you look at what I have accomplished. Look at this. And you decide who you want to do business with. Who do you want to deal with? Who do you want to listen to? Hopes and the fears. Listen to Mama. The final outcome for this reading regarding Ivana, the mama. Mama Ivana of the kids. Oh, is a seven of swords. And uh, it's betrayal. It's uh, thieving out. This, this scoundrel right here is tiptoeing out of the camp. He's scooped up these swords. He scooped up all this value right here. All these rules, all these truths that are tucked under his arm for safekeeping. Uh, he scooped all that up. There's a couple of swords that have been left behind in front of the tent right here. And um, so that's the the outcome of this reading for Ivana. But you know, I just want more. Uh, I think I'm going to draw three more cards to see if we can uh, zero in on some clarifiers for the Seven of Swords. I'm going to shuffle these up, as a matter of fact. So the Seven of Swords, what what does this mean? What is the Seven of Swords trying to tell us about Ivana? Um, will she be able to do anything to save these these kids? I guess at the very least, uh, if I'm thinking about it logically and uh, and not uh, okay. And so this is my active brain. This isn't the intuition here. I think uh, who knows what intuition is, but I think if you think about it logically, she could be her fortune. Wow! Look what came out. Victory, victory. Her, uh, her fortune could be, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, decipher this in a minute. Her fortune could be what saves those grandkids and, uh, and keeps their um, families afloat while these uh, horrid offspring of hers uh, suffer the consequences for what they've done. So I think I'm going to need two more cards. The, the signifier in this, <coughs> for this Seven of Swords, who snuck off with all these truths, tucked them under the arm so that they can't be seen and taken them off to God knows where is victory. So it may be that whatever her plan is uh, comes to a victory in her mind. Let's get two more cards out of this. Let's take one right here. This card is celebrations. Wow. Celebrations. And then the last card for all of this is what is wow. The queen of plans. She has absolutely been the um, the master of planning in her life. She comes out with a flower. She's got a sturdy hold on this great big plan, and she's the one who saved herself. She walked away with a fortune. She's had a fantastic life in the meantime. She's not suffered the trauma that the rest of that family has gone through just uh, gathering up their fortunes. She married this guy, spit out some kids, created Trump. Uh, Plaza, I guess that was the name of the hotel that she ran. And I think she got control of it in the divorce. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but yeah, it's all victory for her in hiding these truths. Very interesting reading for Ivana. You know, she's the one card that nobody is thinking about. Nobody is considering Ivana and how she'll play into all of this. And she may be the one that saves a generation of Trumps with her fortune. Very interesting. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I've done, I think, uh, maybe a whole week on on this family, and I think I need to go clean up, take a shower, um, and uh, and get some of this off of me, and then I'll come back tomorrow. 
because, um, listen, I'm going to go somewhere else tomorrow, and I think it'll be somewhere nicer. So come on with me, and uh, we'll go together. Okay? Come on over. I'll be here. But ciao for now.